Hi guys, today I will recreate Bexite Media's effect, a card dropping effect. To create this easy effect, first of all let's duplicate your video twice and rename them in order. First I will name to, drop. Second one rename to, clean. And the third one rename to, original. Toggle off drop and original layers, we have to remove the car from background now. Select clean layer, then grab a pen tool and make a mask around the car. Press M on your keyboard to open mask, then right click on mask and select, track mask. Go to tracker and track that mask forward. Once it's done tracking, change mask mode to subtract. Now go to window tab and enable content aware fill. Go to aware fill tab copy my settings and then click on, generate fill layer. Move fill layer below the drop layer. As we have a clean video only with a background, time to make the dropping effect. Toggle on drop and original layers. Now grab a roto brush tool and double click on drop layer. Make a nice selection of the car to isolate it from a background. Once you have finished selecting, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Add a feather a bit under a roto brush. Once you are happy with roto brush layer, press P on your keyboard to open position and click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Move position all the way up. Then go a few frames forward, right-click on position and click on, reset. This will bring position back to normal. Move the first keyframe forward a bit. Now select both keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. If the dropping is too fast, stretch the keyframes. That's better in my case. Enable motion blur on a drop layer. In his video he has used a lights and shake effect. I don't know exactly what did he use but, I will use Twitch plugin, it's easy to use and quick effect. Before we apply a Twitch plugin, let's pre-compose all layers into the one. Now we can add a Twitch plugin on the video. Set amount to, 35. Change speed to, 20. Expand enable and toggle on, light and slide. Expand operator controls. Expand light and add light amount as much as you will need. Go to the moment where the car is near to hit the ground and then click on amount stopwatch icon to create a keyframe. Then go a few frames backward and change amount to zero. Press U on your keyboard to see created keyframes. Now go a few frames forward and change amount to zero again. Check the light and shakes effects. If it needs correction, correct it by changing amount and speed. Also move keyframes and make this effect as you will enjoy more. Once you have finished with Twitch, let's jump to another effect. In Bexite's video we can see a dust effect when car drops on the ground. To create this effect, double-click on pre-composed layer and jump into it to see the layers we were working on. Let's add the dust green screen video to After Effects. I will leave a download link in description for this one. Make sure to place dust layer below the drop layer. Now add a keel eyed effect on green screen, click on eyedropper tool and select the green screen to remove it. Move dust layer to the time where the car drops on the ground. Now select original layer and let's toggle off other layers for a while, so we can see the video clearly. Now go to tracker and click on track camera. As analyzing is done, select some points on the car, right click and select, create null and camera. Toggle back on all layers. Now link dust layer with track null and then enable 3D on a dust. Press S on your keyboard and scale it as much you need. Then change positions and then X, Y and Z rotations. Adjust the timing, by moving dust layer forward or backward. Once you are happy with it, go back to composition and let's check what we have got. Let me know in comments if this was easy explained and if it was easy for you to edit this effect. More viral car edits coming soon. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.